ഹലോ ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ടു ബെസി മൊബൈൽ ആപ്പ് കോൺഫിഗറേഷൻ വീഡിയോ ബെസി ഇസ് എ ഫ്രീ ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പൺ സോഴ്സ് ഇ കോമേഴ്സ് മൊബൈൽ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ബൈ യൂസിങ് റിയാക്ട് നേറ്റീവ് ഫ്രെയിംവർക്ക് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ക്രോസ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ആൻഡ് വി ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ബെസി ഇൻ ബോത്ത് ഐ ഒ എസ് ആൻഡ് ആൻഡ്രോയിഡ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോംസ് ദി ബാക്ക് ബോൺ ഓഫ് ദി ആപ്പ് ഈസ് ഇ ആർ പി നെക്സ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൺ ഇ കോമേഴ്സ് ആപ്പ് ലെറ്റ് സി ദി ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ദി യൂസർ ക്യാൻ ലോഗിൻ ആൻഡ് സൈൻ അപ്പ് ഇൻ മൊബൈൽ ആപ്പ് and the user can browse and search products based on their requirement the user can also add product to the cart and also we can add multiple addresses bessy apps also gives the switch theme option and you can switch the theme dark mode and light mode based on user requirements we can see previous orders in the application and uh, it comes with a lot of other features too in this video we will see the two things and uh, the first one is configure the frappe and erp next and the bessy frappe application in frappe bench and the second one is build an apk file for android platform using bessy mobile app let's open the terminal i have already created a new frappe bench and uh, let's go to that bench its name is bessy 15 in app list we can see three sorry four apps the first one is uh, frappe then erp next then payments and web shops if you are using version 14 the web shop is not a different application it is inside uh, erp next so that module name is e-commerce settings let's start the bench using the command bench start and uh, now the bench is started let's open the second terminal and see the site so i created one site bessylocal.com let's open the browser and uh, check that it's a new site and we need to complete setup wizard okay now we successfully installed uh, the site and completed the setup wizard we go to help and about we can see the application which is installed in the site ERP next version is 15 and also payment and web shop applications are present in this uh, new site now let's see how to install bessy application into this frappe bench so the bessy application is available in uh, this github repository and uh, we can see two applications first one is the frappe app then then the second one is our mobile application so let's open this bessy application i will add this repository link in the description and you can navigate from there if you are using frappe cloud and uh, you want to install bessy just uh, go to the frappe cloud marketplace and uh, install the bessy application from there i will also add this link in description so let's get this app using this https code let's go to frappe bench and uh, run the command bench get app then repository then i am using version 15 so i am mentioning the bench sorry branch version 15 this will clone the repository let's clear this and uh, ls apps now we can see that uh, bessy app is in apps directory let's install that app using this command bench install app then bessy now we successfully installed our application so just migrate the site sorry bench migrate open browser and uh, refresh shows an error just i am restarting the bench again okay now it looks fine it's because some restart issue and here in help we can see basic application and also a workspace is there 
So let's open the workspace and here we can set up the Bessy app related things. Next I will show you how to fetch and build APK file using this Bessy mobile application. So in this account we have one more repo and uh, the name is Bessy mobile. So let's clone this repo and uh, I'll show you how to build this application and just opening the terminal and a new terminal going back to my home and I, I have already created one directory for cloning and its name is mobile apk you can use any directory to clone run the command git clone then the repository link this will clone the repository and if you go inside that Bessy mobile we can see the files so let's start with the yarn install to install all packages which is required for that uh, mobile application Okay, now successfully installed uh, all dependencies. Next, we can run the command yarn start, and this will start that application. Let's open VS Code and uh, configure mobile app settings. Let's open the directory, and this is our app directory. Select the directory and click on open. Here we can see different files and uh, Android and iOS uh, directories. So, first of all, we need to set up uh, the env file. Here we can see .env.example file on uh, the Bessie mobile root directory. So, let's uh, rename the file to .env. Um, I am just renaming this and uh, removing this example and uh, the dot then enter now that file is changed to dot env in this file we can see a lot of environment variables so first one is base url and uh, the second one is api base url and third one is erp nest version so these are the important environmental variables the base url and api base url are the urls of your uh, erp next website if you have any domain you just add the domain uh, url here here i am adding my domain url for that uh, let's go to the terminal let's find out in which port the benji is running from this uh, line we can uh, identify that uh, the benji is running in uh, port 8012 so let's uh, remember this uh, port and uh, let's find out my uh, device ip because i am running this uh, frappe bench in my local machine so let's find out it from my network settings i got my ip and uh, let's add that ip in environment file so just remove this and uh, this is my ip and it is running in 8012 port so i am mentioning that port that uh, ip is not https so let's remove s from that url and copy this and uh, paste it in api base url also so the url setup is done next is the erp next version and uh, this variable is used for uh, find out which version of erp next is using in this uh, mobile application so we have two options version 14 or version 15 so currently i am using version 15 uh, erp next in my local so i am just keep that version dot v15 uh, there is no more changes in this uh, directory let's go to terminal again and uh, just rerun this app i am running control c to stop and uh, to start that app run the command yarn start
now let's open android studio and uh, run that application in my emulator so let's open android studio and uh, this is my android studio in more actions uh, just click on virtual device manager i have already installed two devices so here i am selecting pixel 8 pro just run if you don't know how to use android studio you just check some videos in youtube then you can easily run this android studio in your machine so my virtual device is ready let's open the directory in android studio so click on open and this is my mobile apk directory and uh, this is our application and inside the application we can see an android directory just select android directory and click on open this will open that directory in android studio it will take some time to building that android application now we successfully built that application just click on this play button to run that application in emulator it is again building you can see that build here the build is successful and uh, on emulator we can see the app is open right now there is no items in my uh, website so that's why the home screen is uh, shows blank go to the account in settings here we can see the theme switcher uh, we have two themes available dark and uh, light and um, choosing light then going back to cart it shows the login pop-up and uh, in category there is no category present here now let's configure the erp next and uh, let's add some items so let's open browser initially we need to set up some uh, configurations to run mobile application so the first one is enabling uh, the user logins for that let's go to website settings and just uncheck this uh, checkbox disable signups and click on save this will allow to login into the system so the next one is uh, portal settings and in portal settings in portal settings just add the default role in uh, this box so i am adding the customer role uh, in the time of sign ups so whenever we sign up the default customer role is added to that user so let's save this our next setting is uh, web shop settings so I'll go to web shop settings and enable the shopping cart in version 14 we can't see the web shop settings because uh, the name of this uh, doc type is e-commerce settings and so the functionalities are same uh, you can do the same in uh, version 14 so let's configure this uh, web shop settings and initially i am just enabling the shopping cart uh, let's add the company name i am adding bessie uh, i am adding all customer group then uh, price list is standard selling uh, quotation series the default one then uh, i want to see the stock availability so click on that thing and show price then uh, in checkout settings uh, i am not adding any anything and uh, in filters and category let's enable uh, field filters then uh, save this okay we need to select quotation series okay then uh, save this and uh, go to filters and categories again uh, let's add a filter category item code 
okay save it let's enable uh, show stock quantity and uh, in filters and categories just uh, uh, remove this item code instead of item code uh, we need item group so just uh, change it and uh, save it again we can start with creating an item group before that let's add some uh, images i'm opening a new tab and uh, go to files file list here there is no images and files so let's add some files here i am adding some files and these are the files which i downloaded from internet just uncheck private and upload okay we successfully added uh, some files here let's go back to busy workspace and uh, we can start with uh, creating item group so let's go to item group and uh, let's change to tree view here i am adding a uh, child group node and then the name is men men's and uh, add another child women then create new okay just edit it and uh, check is group and one more group check group node and uh, baby care okay we added uh, three new item groups and uh, let's go to the list view then uh, open baby care then click on show in website and uh, let's add an image so that image is visible here so we added uh, our first uh, item group and uh, publish it in website so let's go to item group and open women then add an image okay i'm selecting this image and uh, again go to men then upload image just uh, select this and uh, upload it so click on show website and save i think we forgot to add show website in vimon so show website and save so we have successfully added uh, three item groups let's add a child group inside uh, baby care so again going back to tree view and in baby care add a child uh, let's add top edit then let's add an image and show in website okay we successfully set up a few item groups let's go and create some items so we can add with uh, an item code 0001 then i am adding this under uh, uh, top then uh, edit in full form let's add uh, opening stock thousand then standard selling price 500 and uh, let's add a name so yeah okay that's fine let's save and add an image okay now we successfully uh, created our first item next we need to publish this item uh, and uh, for that let's go to actions and uh, publish in website so the item shirt is published just click on this chart and it will navigate to the website item and here we need to add a website warehouse 
the default one is stores so let's add stores and save let's see that item in our website just click on this see on website and uh, here we can see that item now let's add a shipping charges to this item so for that uh, go to shipping rule list and let's add a new shipping rule so i'm giving a name shipping charge and uh, let's add an account uh, account receivables and uh, adding a code sender main bs for each shipping i am adding a fixed amount so my shipping amount is 100 rupees then save this and we successfully added uh, a shipping rule let's add some more items now let's configure that application home page for that let's go to busy and busy settings so let's add a product in a featured product i'm adding uh, the shirt and uh, in popular product i'm just adding the uh, kurta let's save this let's open the android application and see the working right now we can't see any categories and all let's reload this application and now here we can see uh, our home page with some items so uh, in what's new it shows uh, the items uh, by its rank so in website item we can set up uh, a rank for each item so based on that rank the what's new will come and in featured product we can see a uh, shirt top and in popular product we can see the kurta uh, it is because uh, we configure uh, the featured product and popular product in basic settings so let's go back to emulator and uh, to view all item you just click on this view all and it will navigate to the product list and uh, let's open the first item and here we can see the price and if there is any description that description also we can see below this uh, item name we didn't add any slideshow so that's why it is showing only one picture so let's add uh, one slideshow to this uh, item back to uh we see then website item this is the item and in slideshow let's add a new slideshow create a new slideshow uh top i'm adding a name so let's go to slideshow and add some images i'm just adding some random images some images so we successfully added then go to website item and uh, select that light show here and save back to android and uh, just going back to the product list and again open it and now we can see different uh, product images here going back to the categories here we can see the three categories which we added baby care men's and women so if i select men's it will show the men's uh, category products just remove it and we can also add filter in uh, this icon so if i select we can see different categories if i select baby care uh, the subcategories will uh, listed below so top and click on apply this will uh, show one uh, item now let's see how to login and uh, add an item into cart so for login let's go to this uh, cart it will pop up a login uh, window or a sign up link here i am adding uh, a new user so let's uh, click on sign up and uh, let's add an email uh, the name then let's add a mobile number 
the password should contain a capital letter small letter number and a special character so let's add a password accordingly then click on sign up now we successfully sign into this uh, mobile app and if you go to home screen and profile you can see that profile so in profile we can see previous orders then addresses and uh, we can change password and uh, also sign out and uh, we can delete account so let's go to orders there is no orders yet so that's why it's blank and uh, let's add an item to the cart and before that let's see what's happening in uh, erp next let's open browser and go to user list the user is added and we can see that uh, role is customer let's go to the customer list here we can also see that uh, same customer abc and it is automatically created when you sign up now let's add an item to the cart let's go to the home and uh, open an item to add this item to the cart just click on this button add to cart and we can see a message item is added to the cart just go back and open cart here we can see that item inside cart just uh, click on checkout here uh, another window will show and here we can see that uh, address is not selected just click on change and uh, it will show the list of addresses here there is no address so let's add a new one just add a name and uh, fill this form and uh, let's select india and postal code also add phone number then click on submit so it will uh, add that uh, address here just go back to the cart and uh, let's add some more items okay i added uh, three items and uh, let's click on checkout this will uh, show the same window again and uh, we can see in a total and grand total here then uh, to place the order we just click on this button place order when the order is successful we can see uh, this pop up your order has been placed successfully so to view order just click on go to order or continue shopping just click on this button i am just uh, clicking go to orders and uh, here uh, the order is listed and uh, if you want to see that uh, details just click on this view details so this is how we can add an item to the cart and place an order let's see what's happening in erp next so if you go to quotation you can see that quotation and uh, the quantity then uh, rate and all things then uh, after placing this order uh, a sales order is generated and this sales order shows the same item again and uh, you go to the connections uh, we can see that uh, uh, sales order is connected to the quotation so this is the workflow of uh, ordering an item now let's see how to build an android apk file of this uh, Bessie application go to android studio and uh, just uh, i am stopping this uh, go to build and uh, inside build we can see uh, this option generated signed apk bundle click on that uh, inside this uh, you just select apk then click on next and we need to set up a key file so let's create a new one click on create new um, i'm 
adding the path uh, the default path just uh, add a name basic key then let's add a password the symbol one and uh, let's set up an alias password also adding another password here then first name Ecodia organization PE uh, D test uh, it's also test country code is in so these are the things which required to add a new key store file let's click on ok password doesn't match okay okay so we need to confirm this uh, alias key password here uh, now let's click on ok so that key is generated here um, and we can see that uh, passwords here click on next in this window let's uh, select release and uh, click on create this will uh, create an apk file okay the build is successful and uh, let's see that apk file to view that apk file you just open that basic mobile uh, directory and inside that we can see android directory open it and uh, and let's open app directory then inside that uh, we can see a release directory click on that and here we can see that uh, apk file and you can use this file in your android mobile you can install it in your mobile and uh, you can uh, test that working let's try this application and if you have any feedback you just uh, raise uh, github issues thanks for watching this video and uh, see you